Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at Sticks Shards of Darkness. We're going to be taking a bit of a first look, trying it out for the first time and see what it's about. So yeah, so the publishers were kind enough to give me a copy early. So yeah, there's going to be a bit of a live com let's play. This is in no way a review. They still have to patch it up a bit. This is not the final uh, product, but you know, it is pretty much the full game. So yeah, so... um. I'm pretty sure you all know that Stix is a hardcore stealth game. As you can see, once we select difficulty, if we select the first two, we can just about get away with killing people. But from there on, Goblin and Master, we're not even allowed to to kill people a lot unless we're in stealth mode. So it has to be a stealth kill. So like if we press discovery, then we are allowed to parry them and then potentially kill them if they do discover us but uh that's pretty much it on golden master we don't get that option so if they discover you then you're pretty much screwed unless you somehow get away uh and hide which is pretty difficult so we're going to go for discovery since i'm not exactly much good at these type of games i'm more the type of running gun kind of just go straight in get it done as fast as possible kind of guy and yeah uh, we should have a bit of a a bit of a chance if we did happen to get discovered. So we're going to be playing the prologue today. Right, so I am playing on keyboard and mouse. I would have liked to have played it on a controller pad. I'm more used to playing pretty much everything on a controller pad, but I haven't got one available at the moment. So let's just hope they do a good job of explaining the uh, the keys to me. So yeah, like I said, this is the prologue or the tutorial, so we can aim with the mouse, obviously. And E, hide. Okay, so we can hide in things, first person mode, typical, pretty cool. Um, we already crouched by, okay, C to crouch, we already crouched though, I believe, yeah. E to extinguish torches, okay. So in this game, the more the more hidden we are, uh, the more the knife on our back glows. So as you can see, we're in a slightly bit of light here and it's not glowing completely. But if we go over here in the darkness, it fills all the way up. So that way we know if we're well hidden or not and the possibilities of them uh, discovering us. Right, so we're going through here. We can jump. Should we get up before jumping? So you think like the first sticks, then this guy should be pretty hilarious. So Amber Vision pretty much shows us everything we can interact with. So everything in uh, orange we can do something with. So we can pick this up, iron ore. These will allow us to craft stuff a bit later on. And this shows us like maybe we can hide in there and where we can potentially jump up. So though the game drop down holding that okay so though the game is not free roam but it is it gives us the options to go pretty much what well it gives us the option to take various paths how do we drop down i really don't know how to drop down I haven't explained that much yet come on dude what the fuck do we drop down Oh, it says over there, C. Okay. Right, um... There we go. I'm just... This is the tutorial, and, and there's not really much fighting on this part, so see if we can get ahead a bit. So, like, here, it gives us the option, like, to go up or down, and it will probably eventually take us to different paths, and that way have a different outcome, get to a different area to get to the final uh, objective. Right, so around here... Hide, pick up the body, okay. Press amber mode around here. All right, so we've got some ingredients here that we can that we can craft a bit later on. Is there anything we can pick up around here? There we go. Okay, we can open items. Uh, we don't really have anything at the moment. Uh, we can press one to drink a potion, but we don't want to do that at the moment since we're fine. Well, I, uh, I think we've, with the red bar, I think we've lost a tiny bit of health, but I think we probably started like that. Right, so. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, okay, okay. We've got some enemies around here. So we can go against the wall. So just remember, on easy mode, if they do discover us, we do get a chance to parry and kill them. But if this was on any harder mode, then then yeah, we wouldn't have that chance. So if they discover you, we would ha just have to run and hide. So as, at the time of killing, if we, if we don't hold it down, then 
it, they'll like scream so if we want to do a proper kill without them screaming or anything like that to alert anybody else we do have to hold hold it down until the circle's filled up and that way we will successfully kill them without them making a noise and alerting anything else so it's pretty like if, you, if you're getting chased or somebody's about to come around the corner then it's probably worth the risk to make let them make the noise because if not the other guy's going to see you if you take that long it's just that's kind of the collectibles against the carnage or whatever I'm not going to go in any story related things. It's just so you can. It's just, this video is literally just so you can guys can see a bit of gameplay. Like I'm going to do a few. Re like I'm going to do a full review once the game is released. Okay, so okay, so this is where we can use our abilities. So if we press one, uh, we can make a clone. So there's like to distract them. Maybe if I want them to come over here, if we get up better. Come on, come here. I know we press one. Oh god, he's seen it. There, we, we have to parry him. Okay, there's an okay chance to. Yeah, I'm dead. See, that's how easy they kill you on on e the easiest mode. So, on anything else, apart from not being able to parry, they will literally instantly kill you like the first go. This is why this is like a hardcore stealth game. Like, you don't really get the option to, to play any other way. And, you know. Oh god, I just pressed the wrong button. I wanted to pick that shit up. Though. Obviously... Right. Um, oh shit. Obviously, though I'm not the kind of guy for these kind of games, I can totally understand and see why this is a really good thing. And these guys are destroying me. Like, like I'm crap at these kind of games. But I can see it. I mean, like, on some running ga gun games, they don't give you the option to to play stealthy and i i think it's great that there's games like this where it's the other way around like it's a stealth game and they don't give you the option to to play run and gun like i don't know imagine like something like duke nukem or something like doom or something and giving you like it's a total run and gun destruction game like they don't give you the slightest possibility to play stealthy so yeah there's kind of pretty much the other way around I think I've hidden a bit better this time. Come here, guys. All right, further away the better. I don't. We can't kill them here. All right. One. Okay. Okay. Go. 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 Quick through there. They're coming. They're probably going to come back. Okay. We're in. We're in. Okay. So uh, anything we can pick up around here? Nope. Just a door. So let's go ahead and open that. I should probably look through some of these doors before doing it. Right, so over here we've got a craft table, though I don't think we've really got any materials at the moment. Yeah, we, well, we, okay, yeah, we've got, um, okay, we need four, but we didn't, I'm sure we picked these up, but I'm guessing that's, uh, I picked them up and then died and didn't say, but yeah, whatever. So we can't create anything at the moment, but, um, yeah, just so you get the idea, at the moment we could craft, uh, potions with a few materials, one of these, run raw amber, one insect egg, and one poisonous spore. Or we can craft boats, which is pretty much like throwing knives on this game, where you can throw them stealthy while well hidden, and it will like instantly kill them, which is pretty cool. Another die should probably right. So this is like here. We if we don't want to kill him normally, we could poison this food, but um, let's wait because I don't think we could, we're just going to go ahead and kill him because I don't. I think we it's a bit late to poison this food. He's already eaten it. But yeah, we, we can kill him. But if we want, we can poison food and we can poison uh, water. These are the other collectibles right here, which are these like amulet things. And there's like documents and stuff just to get like the 100% down. Uh, we can, you know, there's loads of like secondary objectives around the map, which is pretty cool. I think we want to go, actually, we could go over top. But what I'm going to do is go along the bottom here on these ropes. I think we can make that jump, right? Oh, yep, there we go, okay, okay, this, this is totally not screwing, oh my god, there's no reckon, right, and the controller's actually pretty good, okay, okay, crouch, 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 oh god, oh, guards pay, okay, I think that's the actual objective, we've got to get all the guards pay on this mission, let's kill this guy, oh, push him, okay, bye-bye, pick that up, can we get up here? Yeah, we can. 
When we're like hidden in like a ventilation system or crouch down in a special place, it will put it in first person mode, which is pretty cool. Let's jump up here, see what there is. Okay, I think this is like near the entrance. So, there's a guy here, but there's a guy asleep. Oh god, there's another one there, so we can't do that. See if we can somehow get like onto the roof. Hope there's nobody around here. Oh, there's one. Can we push him off? No, obviously not when somebody's standing that close. Can we get around here? With, can we get away with this? Okay, it looks like we did get away with that. So we can go under there or up here. Okay, this is where I want to go, actually. So collectible there. But uh, we can do this with the candelier, or chandelier even. See if they will go underneath there so we can kill a few of them. I can't really see that well. I think it would kill the guy that's uh, asleep just there, but I want to see if we can get more than one. See if anybody else decides to walk under there. It may not. I may be too late because I remember last time somebody did walk under there, but I'm not sure if it's become too late this time or if they do just uh, cycle around and do the same thing. I'm not too sure. Let's see. If not, we'll just... Oh, okay, here we go. Quick, quick, e, e, e. Get them both. There we go. Two down. Obviously, they know now that something is going on, but, you know, they're not too sure. It could just be a dodgy chandelier, couldn't it? Oh, okay. Okay, there's another guard's pay. Oh, God, this guy's seen me. And it woke that guy up. So we can quick kill him in the quick fashion, even though it's not too quick, so... Oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh, no! God... Damn it, good job, I got that parry. They, they will come in, come on, I need to hide because not, like, they don't know where I am yet. Quick, hide, 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 hide. I'm not sure, I don't think, because they're in different rooms, they don't know where I am exactly. But they are going to come and look for me now. <laughs> and hopefully they're not going to find me. Come on, bullshit, mate. Bullshit! Run, run! Oh, I thought that was the hole there. What am I doing? I don't want to kill him. Get, jump out the window, man. Good demon. it. <laughs> oh. But anyway, guys, so we get through that house. We get up to that balloon up there, and that's the end of the prologue. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a first little look at this game that's coming out the 14th of March. I will do a few review once the game is uh, completed properly with all the patches and all that just to see what it's like. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go like and subscribe. Remember you can follow me on Twitter and we'll see you next time guys.